Morning cactus people, we're in the uh, cactus house again this morning and it's the third Monday in January I believe which I think is meant to be the worst day of the year so bear with us on that one. I had a look under the fleece yesterday and I saw a bit more cold damage on this here at the back which is the roadkill cactus, uh, Puntia consolea rubescens I think and it appears to have, all the joints seem to have dropped so I can't just leave it there like that I'm sure it <coughs> might start rotting and then things spread to other things so this morning we're going to twist off the ones that have dropped the joints are already broken so it's not going to get any better easier said than done um, I noticed the one at the top has uh, not just dropped but half of the pad has collapsed so that's probably not a good sign. Uh, so I really want to get rid of the, anything that's got any rot on it. Well, I might put the pads that don't look too bad somewhere to see if they will root at a, a later date. They look a bit discoloured but not totally dead. So put them to one side and see what happens with those. <coughs> the big ones at the bottom seem to be dropping onto the other cacks. I, I shouldn't really touch this because of the blockings, but I forgot to put my gloves on. And yeah, the main body of the plant doesn't look too bad, so that might be okay. It's a bit of a shame it had got to this size. I didn't realise that they were that frost sensitive. I didn't realise that with the bigger plant here either. And yeah, it's this pad here that appears to have the most damage. That's the one that was, it's not actually separated, but I'm going to take it off anyway. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely frost damage there, so I want to be getting rid of that one. So, that last pad, although it's dropped, it, might, it hasn't separated totally, so I'll leave that for now and see if I can prop it back up and see if it uh, gets any better later in the season when things warm up. Uh, having a look at everything else, most other things seem alright little bit soft because it's winter and they haven't been watered but can't see any frost damage. And there's an Apuntia here. Let's try to look at Brasiliensis, uh, which I read in the BCSS journals doesn't like to be under 5 centigrade. Well it's definitely been under 5 centigrade in here this uh, past few weeks. I'm sure it's dropped down below freezing a few times. But that one seems fine. So, uh, I I've put a backup one in the warmer bit of the greenhouse because I didn't want to lose that. But I left the one in the ground and uh, so far so good. Anyway, that's uh, that bit cleared up. Thank you for watching today.